dreamers welcome back to my next video today we are going to say how to make puri and potato masala so first i will make the dough i have mixed um, atta and wheat together i have taken 3 is to 3 so i have taken the equal measurement now i am adding some salt Before adding the water, I'm just going to stir it with them. So now I will be adding some cold water. I'm going to make the dough with using the cold water if you use the normal water it won't be that much soft so I'm using a cold water mix water little by little and make a soft dough so I made this into a soft dough Now I'm going to add little oil. I'm going to need some more. And now you are going to keep this covered for about half an hour. If you rest it for half an hour, the dough will be more soft. So now I am going to make the potato masala. I have taken uh, boiled potatoes, chopped onions, chopped tomatoes, some ginger garlic. I have chopped into little pieces, curry leaf. I have taken lemongrass, green chili and spring onions. You can add coriander leaf. But today I have taken the spring onions. So we will move on to make the potato masala. So I am going to start making the potato masala. In a pan I have added some oil. So when the oil is heated I am going to add some mustard seeds. And then I am adding some fenugreek seeds some cumin then I am going to add the onions I'm adding a little bit of salt. Now the onions are getting a little bit brownish. At this time, I'll be adding the garlic and ginger and the lemon juice.
then the tomatoes and the green chili. I have taken one large big onion and a medium sized tomato. and let it cook the sauce. Now I'm going to add two pinches of thermal powder. Half a teaspoon of chili powder. At this stage, I will add a little water. No need to cover this. At this stage, we will be adding the boiled potatoes. Today I have taken about 250 grams. I will add like little water. If you are doing it in a non-stick pan, no need to add water. Using a spoon. Break the potatoes into small pieces. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt. and then some paper so the paper should be added at the last and then the spring onions
So you are done. The potato masala is ready. So now we will start to make the puri. I have made small balls. Now we are going to press it and make it a circle. I am using a roti maker but you can roll it with a pin. Now you are going to fry this. So now the oil is hot. I am going to fry puri one by one. After a few seconds, turn it the other way. So now the puri is ready. I am going to show you another one. I'm slightly pressing the puri inside the oil. So in this way I'm going to fry all the puris and we'll be back. So I have finished making puri. It's soft. 